I'm back. Hello, friends. Today we're going to talk specifically about one of my favorite doTERRA oils and one that I think is a little underutilized. We're going to talk about some really practical ways to use Pettigrain essential oil in your household and some reasons why you really need this in your wellness routine. So Pettigrain has this really beautiful scent and aroma, but my least favorite thing about it is that it's very difficult to describe because it's kind of herbaceous. It kind of is sweet and floral in one way. It's very difficult to describe the aroma and it's been used in the fragrance industry for a really long time. And I think part of that is because, in just my personal opinion, is because it kind of rides that line between a very masculine smell and a very feminine smell. And it kind of makes sense where it comes from. It is steam distilled from the leaves and the branches of a bitter orange tree. So not the fruit, but from the leaves and the bark, which is really interesting because you get some of those citrus hints, those, those aromas in the background, but it's also very much uh, earthy kind of smell along with it. So I really love the aroma. It's one that it's hard to describe. And I think part of that is because it doesn't really smell like anything else that I've ever smelled before. It has some really great benefits in my, one of the great parts is that you can use Pettigrain essential oil all three ways. You can use it aromatically in a diffuser. It's very calming in a diffuser. It's gonna help ease feelings of tension after a long day at work. And it can also promote restful sleep. So this is definitely one of our nighttime oils. The chemical constituents in Pettigrain are very similar to lavender. So if you like lavender and what it does for your body, but maybe it isn't your favorite smell, your favorite scent in the world, then Pettigrain would really be one that I would suggest trying. You can also use it topically. One of my favorite oils to blend it with is frankincense. There's just nothing frankincense doesn't go well with. So I'll put a drop of pedigree and a drop of frankincense in my hands with a little bit of carrier oil. Rub it all over my feet, rub it all over the back of my neck about 30 minutes before bed. And it's really gonna help kind of reset, kind of turn off that to-do list in my brain, calm the central nervous system and really give a relaxed feeling, especially in the evenings after a long day. So it can be used topically as well with, oh, one of my favorite ways to use it is also with neroli. And it's kind of fun, and maybe it's just geeky of me, I don't know. But I love using it with neroli because it actually comes from the same tree. So if pedigree comes from the leaves and branches of the bitter orange tree, neroli comes from the flower and the blossom of the bitter orange tree. Now, they kind of have a same undertone of smell, but this is much sweeter in my opinion. So I will use neroli and pedigree together topically over my heart when I just feel like I need some support and calming some, some anxious feelings, especially when I'm trying to go to bed. So that's another fun one to mix it with. Now, the third way to use Pettigrain is internally. It is safe to take internally. One of the ways that you can tell that on the doTERRA bottles is if it has this supplemental facts part on the label, then that means it is safe to take internally. If it's missing this box, then it is not. So it is safe to take Pettigrain internally. One way is you can put it in a gel cap and add it to a gel cap with about one or two drops and fill the rest with olive oil. I usually use olive oil because it's a little uh, more soothing to the stomach as those essential oils get down to our digestive system. You can also put one drop in a four ounce glass of water or juice, or my favorite way is one drop in warm tea before bed. It has that kind of woodsy smell and taste to it that in like a sleepy time tea of some sort is really delicious. I really like it. One drop of this and one drop of bergamot in your tea and forget about it. So good, so good. Now the health benefits that come from taking Pettigrain internally are robust. It's amazing. You're still going to also get some of those calming effects to your body, to the central nervous system, um, to your ner that whole nervous system of your body is really going to be promoted when taking Pettigrain internally. But it's also going to help a lot of other systems in your body as well. 
It really helps support the cardiovascular functions in your body, the immune functions in your body. It has great support for antioxidants in your body and the digestive system. That's like almost all the important systems. <laughs> One little drop of pedigree can support all of those. So whether it's just because you want to maintain wellness in those systems or you're having some issues in some of those systems, Literally one little drop in a gel cup or in a glass of water, or for me, preferably in a warm cup of tea before bed, can help support all of those. So I hope that you will consider looking into this more. I will drop some more information in the information on this video. I hope that you'll comment with how you use Pettigreen oil. If you have ideas that I didn't share, please share them. And we'll be back soon with another oil to talk about.